What I'm bringing right now is a secret of digital market that you can apply in your work today. And this is really well known like the sales funnel. Hi, I'm Sira. I was born in an artistic family and as an agent, manager and producer, I've worked for many years selling artists from all around the world. Today, I want to help you to become a full-time artist. Hello, artists. I am Sira and I'm here to help you to become a full-time artist. People are paying attention to you when you talk on the internet. Are you receiving lots of followers and comments and likes and everything that you put? Or do you have a course or pieces to sell on the internet or commissioning artwork to sell and all these products are selling all the time? Well, if you are not in this position anymore, I think there's something that I need to share with you. There is one tiny secret about how to have all of this. Do you want to know? So come with me. To start, let's understand what is to sell something. Well, we are going to sell something if you really have relationship with people. And when I say sell things, actually you can sell anything. It's not just a product or a service. You can sell an idea, you can sell your brand. Every time that you convince someone that you're right about something, you're selling something. And I see that sometimes people are a little bit confused with this conception because they understand that it's just selling if someone is putting hands on pockets, takes some money and giving to you. And you are giving something in return, of course, because if you're not, it's just death. But what I say is that people will just invest on you or believe on you or trust in you if they know you. And this is normal. We are all like this. Imagine, for example, that you are walking in the street and someone asks you to marry the person. It's someone that you never saw before. It's someone that you don't know what this person came from. And they are making this huge proposal. Will you marry me? What do you would say? Like no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Most of people, they would say no and run without looking back. That would be me, for example. But why we do that? Because we don't have a relationship with this person. When we want, for example, to get married, we need to meet someone, introduce ourselves, the person will introduce themselves for us as well, and then you start to date, have a relationship, and maybe in future you can marry. For your products as an artist, it will be exactly the same thing. People will start to gain confidence on you. They will start to trust on you. If they know more about you, if you open yourself and explain who you are, what you're all about, what's your story. And the more people know about you, the more they will trust on you, and the more they will feel that they have a relationship with you. Then when you say, would you marry me? Or would you buy this from me? They can start to consider it. Because before that, you don't even consider anything. You just say, no, and run away, in my case. <laughs> so when you are posting your work on the internet, and no one is engaging with this. They are not liking, they are not commenting, they are not being in a relationship with you. It means that they don't trust you yet. And if they don't trust you yet, it's not their fault. It is everybody's fault but mine. It's your fault. You didn't give time and information enough for them to trust you. And what I'm bringing right now is a secret of digital market that you can apply in your work today to start to build these relationships. And this is really well known like the sales funnel or the custom journey or, well, they have several names, but here I'm going to call the funnel. <laughs> yeah, the funnel. What is the funnel? When we are talking with several people, we start to develop relationship with these people, but each one of us are different. So each one of these people will evolve in this relationship 
in a different way. For example, I imagine that there's lots of people that you know, but there is a little bit less in number of people that are your friends and less people that are your best friends and less people that you date and possibly when you marry, you marry just one person. It depends on your culture, but in general, it's one person. So if you come from a lot of people that you know to some people that are your friends, to less people that are your best friends, to fewer people that you date for an exclusive one place for a husband or a wife, we can see that it looks like a funnel. And the more intimacy, the more trust, the less people are there. Okay, so let's translate this for your case as an artist selling your art. Let's say that actually you don't want to marry anyone. You want to sell something for this person. You need to start to offer this for a lot of people. So some of these people will be interested. Some of these people will go to see what it is. Some of these people will see what the product itself is and some of them will buy from you. If you have this idea, you can interact with these people in different levels. So in the first level, you need to have the attention of these people. If you don't have people paying attention on your message, they will never look at you, they will never start any type of relationship with you. So we need to present things that brings attention for who you are and what you do. When these people are already paying attention in you, you need to evolve your communication to have their interest. You need to say that whatever you are doing is interesting for these people, so they will keep engaging on you, on your content, on, on your products. They want to be there because they have interest on it. When you already have this interest, it's now time to build desire and people will start to desire your products. They will see what you're selling and, oh my God, I really want to have that. And then when they desire it, now you can ask them to take action and buy them from you. You see, if you don't even have the attention of this person, it's really hard for you to offer something to sell. If you are always posting on your Instagram pieces and say, this is for sale, this is for sale, this is for sale, you are not working on develop trust. You are just waiting for someone to do something for you with you doing nothing for them. And then the trust is not really balanced. You need to work to have attention on your message, interest on you as an artist, desire for your products, and then you can make these people buy from you. Try to do this next time. The next post that you try to put, see if you are really having the attention of these people and if you're talking about things that are interesting for them. If you're not, maybe you need to learn a little bit more about your clients. I really want to know what you think about that. Please let me hear in the comment section below and see you next week. If you have some questions, put here in the comment section below, but maybe I can help you a little bit better, right? I have a free ebook in my website that will help you step by step. So you can go here in the description of this video so you can click there. Thank you so much for keeping doing art. Thank you.